Welcome to part two of our Dolphin Diddy series on malware. In our previous video, we discussed different types of malware and how they work. Let's talk about how to avoid the most common threats we see today. Today it goes without saying that having reliable antivirus software installed on your computer is a must. While antivirus software is only one of the layers of defense, it is an important one. Windows 7 and Windows Vista users can look to Microsoft Security Essentials for great free antivirus protection. Windows 8 already has a built-in version of Security Essentials, though running your own antivirus is okay too. Using a user account that is not a local administrator on your system can help prevent malicious software from running as administrator and causing more damage than it would running as a regular user. Many programs come with tricky installers designed to sneak in unwanted software. Carefully reading over the software agreement and all tick boxes is a good idea but Unchecky will do this for you. It watches software installers and ticks or unticks the right boxes so you only install what you intend to. While the ever constant updates from runtimes like Java and Flash can be an annoyance, they are important. These pieces of software are frequent targets for designers of malware, so keeping them and your browser up to date are essential. So all of these things are important, but the most critical aspect of safe computing is being vigilant and watching out for exploits designed to take advantage of human behavior. These threats are known as social engineering and rely on curiosity, fear, or even concern for others to get us to run malicious software or even provide our password or credit card number. Some examples of social engineering are rogue antivirus, which is fake antivirus designed to trick us into handling over credit card information to activate the software, which is really just a virus in disguise. Phishing attempts, such as the one here posing as the Facebook login page. Note the address in the address bar. Type your Facebook password into this page and you've just handed it over to a hacker or a bot. The key here is us. We are both the strongest and weakest link in our online security. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.